Anybody here have tried vocals? <laughs> Anybody who tried vocals? Try vocals. I guess it's new or something. Put in some tri vocals. My, my eye doctor, you need tri vocals. I said, what for? He said, well, you can, we'll fix these so you can see way far away. He said, then in the middle, you'll pick up things about 50 feet away. He said, then down here, you can read your medicine. I'm sitting in the chair, he gives me the exam, he says, okay, that's fine, now read, the, read for 50 feet away, and I'm going, X, T, Y, O, H, P, 4, okay, now read, John said, take it, okay, grind them up, I come back two days later, put the glasses on, so now read, we do the whole thing, fine, okay, try focus. I can see any distance you want. You name it, I'll see it. You know, I get up to leave, and the door was way down there. So I said, man, I don't remember the door being all the way down there. So I started walking, you know, just get ready for a long walk, that's all. And, and, and then I passed it. So I looked back around and the knob was right here. I said, oh, there you are. I open the door, I go out to get the elevator. Elevators are way. I said, man, when did they change this building? So I put my finger out to press the button and I'm right on it. Now the elevator door opens, and there's about four people in the thing, but they're way back. I looked at them, I said, why are you all way back there? But this, the, the thing to step on is up here. So I said, golly, man, they ought to fix this thing. You have to get up this high. And when I did that, it's, this is in New York City, I did that, and the people went, oh, don't kill us, please. I said, oh, shut up. I'm trying to get in this elevator. Some, somebody help me, please. So, so the people, people took my leg, you know, and they, they helped me. And, you know, and I, I said, now, wait a minute. Take it easy. I don't want to hurt myself on this other part. I said, okay, you get it. And I got in the elevator, and, and the doors closed. And they were right here. I said, boy, this thing is really something, man. I backed up and they were right there. Now the door's open and I look and now I got to go. It's about a three-mile walk to the front. I said, golly, what kind of place is this? And then I was right there. The revolving door. So I go around the revolving door and I come outside. Traffic is way... But the curb was up here. And I got to cross the street, so I got down on the ground. I try to get over this thing, man. So somebody tapped me on the shoulder, so Mr. Cosby, I turned around and it was a giant eye. I said, what is this? And the lady said, can I have your autograph? I said, yes, but I don't sign for eyes. So I signed the thing, they had a big pad. And I stepped off the curb and the traffic was way down there. And I got his ear. Oh, oh God. Truck was really big. So I almost started to cry and I was scared. And somebody said, are you all right? And I turned, it was an eyebrow. <laughs> so I said to the eyebrow, please take me to a phone. I want, I want to call my wife. So the guy walked with me and the phone booth was way down. But we got there in two steps. I said, boy, I must be walking good. So I, I got some change out and my hand was way down. Couldn't see what it was, but then I looked at a quarter. <laughs> Trying to find the hole. The hole was this big, man. 
picked up the phone, I dialed my wife, nine! My wife picked up the phone, I said, dear, I have these glasses on, and the doctor put it in, got trifocals, and I swear, it's dangerous, I'm going to get killed out here. I'm at 46 in Lexington, please come and get me before I get run over. So my wife said, idiot, take the glasses off and come home. <laughs>